It's Charlie, and this is the video tutorial for the Computer and Networking Security Courses Lab 3. In this tutorial, again, I take you step by step through the guide, and this particular lab is short, so we'll be done real quick. Let's get started. Okay, I want to begin here on the course webpage, and then I'm going to go down to Online Labs and click on this link, and then go to the third lab, which is Network Discovery and Reconnaissance Probing. And go there and that'll take us to the lab access page we click on that link and that will take us to the desktop so we want to uh, open up in map so let's click this and then let's resize this window here because it doesn't fit Just widen this out a little bit It'll be easier to read and now um, up at the top here we have target and profile target being the IP address and profile being how we're going to scan it so let's select the range here that's already uh, provided and then we'll go down to ping scan here and then just click scan click this button and uh, you'll see the scan begin and on the left you'll start to see the IP addresses and on the right you'll see the information from scan and in this box right here this shows the actual nmap command if you were to type this at the command line so now that that's done um, we need to pick a different scan. So we're going to keep the same range of IP addresses and then go over to uh, this profile and select intent scan. And um, then over here on scan, just click this button again to get the scan started. This scan has a lot more to it, so it takes much, um, much longer. Uh, uh, the course guide says about three to five minutes, and I noticed that to be true here. So instead of waiting the entire time I'm gonna let some details um, show up here on the screen and then I'm just gonna cut out uh, uh, the minutes so we don't have to sit and wait so in a second we'll see this just update to being done and there we go so now it's completed so when you see in map done down here that means you've completed your scan and this information we need to to store for turn in so let's go up to scan here click here and then go down to save scan and we want to select the intent scan we just did, so select that, and that'll, that'll look just like the nmap command up here. Then hit save, and uh, let's name it. So it's like nat lab 3 um, nmap scan, and uh, it's already an XML file, which is what we want for turn in. So let's click on C, and then security strategies, and let's save it there. So now that we have it saved, we can use that for turn in later we'll get to that towards the end but now we can you can either re review this information that you see here and there's a lot of it so you can scroll up and and um, see all the details of the scan so now um, we can click over on port hosts and ports hosts and you'll see services protocols um, great information there and there's topology and uh, host detail scans there's more tabs and and take your time and review all of them but for now we're going to go to uh, topology and we're going to see the the bubble map here and what we'll do here is uh, click on controls so that we can zoom in here a bit but first let's uh, adjust the ring gap and that'll make the spaces between the nodes greater and be kind of tricky. Let's get this a little bit smaller here so we can zoom in. There you go. And now we can see all the nodes. And there's more details that you can um, get if you play around with this a little more. Uh, but for now, we need to save the graphic. So let's click Save Graphic. And here, let's go ahead and give it a name. So let's name it Lab 3 Topology Fisheye chart and then um, by extension we need to click PDF so let's select PDF click on C again and then find security strategies again and then hit save so we save it to the same place and um, now we have that saved for turn in and so we're done here so let's click the X um, set so closed anyway because it's remembering our ping scan and we didn't save that and then we can click on our file transfer link so we can actually download this to our desktops for turn in and then we'll have to find the security strategies folder where we save the um, the file. So let's scroll down here and uh, find it. Let's go, here we go. Click on security strategies and and here's our files. So we just uh, download those to our desktop and upload them to the course. And that's it. That's it for this tutorial. Well, I told you that one was quick. I hope that tutorial helped you finish the lab. 
If you have any recommendations or requests for other tutorials, please leave them down in the comments below, and I'll see you next time.